Hello and welcome to the introduction to Juniper Series 1. I want to take just a couple minutes to explain to you how you can use the Series 1 Juniper videos. The target audience for this series are individuals studying for their JNCIA, their Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate, also the JNCIS, the JNCIP, and the JNCIE. This series was also developed for network engineers and network administrators. Basically anybody that is in a position in which they might interface with Juniper devices. This series was developed for you to give you a solid understanding and cover a lot of the core fundamentals in Juniper networking. So we have 20 videos in series one. They cover a broad range of topics. And if you are just opening up series one, you want to open up the readme file, the PDF file. And the way I have all the labs listed is in chronological order. So what I would do is, if you're brand new to, to Juniper, what I would do is start off with the introduction to Juniper, Lab 1, and then work your way up from introduction to Juniper Lab 1 all the way to the introduction to Juniper Lab 4. So there's quite a few introduction videos in this series, and this series was developed with the JNCIA syllabus in mind, and also the, the JNCIS, some of those topics as well. So we have some introductory level material, what we also have, we also cover border gateway protocol, we, we cover both exter external and internal BGP. We cover BGP authentication. We cover Juniper default routing. I show you how to set up logical systems within your Juniper device if your Juniper device supports them. I also have a couple of videos on OSPF where I cover single area and multi multiple area OSPF. I cover RIP version 2. And then what, what I also do is I have some labs. I have a lab on routing policy. And at the very top, you can see that I have two labs that will help you gain a very good understanding on firewall filters. And scrolling through the labs, as we can see, I also have a lab that shows you how to to set up JWeb. If you're not familiar with JWeb, JWeb is kind of the equivalent, the Cisco equivalent to the security device manager which Cisco has. It's a graphical user interface, a GUI that you can access via your web browser. It's a real cool tool. There's a lot of uh, nice options that they have that are supported. And just scrolling down through the PDF file, you can see that I also have a static routing lab, a Junos configuration basics lab where I show you how to set up basic user access and banner configuration, and create and manage user accounts. And then the last lab on the series one is the trace options lab. So what I want to also show you is on, I just want to tell you a little bit about the Juniper Network Certification Program, the JNCP. Juniper has just revised their certification tracks early this year. That is in 2000, early 2011. And they have some offers going on through the end of 2011. So for those of you that are studying for 
certifications and have picked this up to help you study for certifications you can go to the juniper.net website and then if you click on the education link you can see that there's a, an area that says get certified where you can click on what's known as the fast track program and if I bring this up we can see that Juniper right now they have sorry sorry about that clicked on the wrong thing right now they have what's known as the fast track program which provides you with a 50 percent discount voucher for certain Juniper certifications you have we have the JNCIA the JNCIS Enterprise and the JNCIS Security. So we have the JNCIA Junos, in which they spelled wrong on their website, but that's okay. And I believe the JNCIA, when you take it, it's $100, but you can get a 50% discount off of that. So what you do is you just go on to, you pretty much create a user account on the, the Juniper website. They give you access to a few training materials, a couple of practice exams, and if you pass the practice exam, what they're going to do is they're going to send you a an exam voucher code and then you fill in the voucher code when you go in to sign up for your Juniper the JNCIA or the JNCIS test. So it's pretty cool. Juniper has some good initiatives out there for you to get certified. And Juniper is Juniper's global presence is growing. And so there really is a need for Juniper training. And that's why I've created the Juniper series 1 is to help those who don't have resources to give people an opportunity to see what Juniper is all about and to learn more about the Junos. So again, just to wrap up this, this introduction to Juniper Series 1, the order to watch the videos would be I'd go through all the introduction videos first, then maybe just pick and see if you're studying for the JNCIA then just try to find labs that are on the JNCIA those topics and also for the JNCIS and other exams just look through and see if there's anything on there and try to study those and watch those videos so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one